hello guys we are back with our next tutorial in this tutorial let's see all about binary sorry bilinear transformation guys this is one of the most easiest topic and it's a basic topic guys so it's really easy and this question carries only two marks guys it's a two mark question so it's really easy so now in this tutorial let's learn all about bilinear transformation basically there is a small formula for this guys it is nothing but this is the main formula of this w minus w1 into w2 minus w3 by w minus w3 into w2 minus w1 is equals to z minus z1 into z2 minus z3 by z minus z3 into z2 minus z1 so this is the formula at the end you will be finding the value of w guys somehow you will be managing to find the value of w so that it will be in the form of w is equals to a z plus b by c z plus d here z will be the term and a will be some coefficients guys see here a b c d are complex constants okay so now you may ask me that what is w and what is z w plane points are w1 w2 w3 z plane points are z1 z2 z3 these are nothing but the planes guys in which the points exist okay basically in the question he will not be defining or giving a statement that these are the poles sorry these are these are z these belong to z plane or these belong to w plane so the first set belongs to z plane and the second set belongs to w plane so now i hope everyone got a small idea on what I am trying to say right guys okay so now let us go through this problem this is one of the most basic problem guys so this will be our z1 z2 z3 w1 w2 w3 fine so w minus of minus 1 okay you may you may if you also have a confusion of remember this formula I'll be saying you a simple trick guys Assuming this W as W node, so 0, 1, 2, 3 will be the subscripts. Here 0, 3, 2, 1. Here also 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 3, 2, 1. That's it. In between everything pair, pair guys. They are always in pairs. In pairs means minus and in between those pairs will be multiplying them. That's it. We have just remembered the formula. That's it guys. So now you will be substituting all these values. So you will be getting an equation like this. So you will be cross multiplying it so that it forms like this. So now you will be making all the W terms on one side and all the Z terms on the other side. So at the end you will be getting something like this. So I got here like this. So W is equals to Z minus I minus Z I plus A plus 1 sorry. So we, we I, have just, I have told you that W is equals to AZ plus B by C Z plus D. So you can directly at the end you can write A is equals to 1, B is equals to minus I and C is equals to minus I and D is equals to 1. This will be the conclusion of the problem. That's it guys. This is a basic problem. Even if you have any more confusion you can go through this problem also. This is the another problem which I have just wrote. So you will be substituting it in the formula. Okay. So that you will be getting this like this so we will be cross multiplying them so we will be getting this so now you will be using them okay and further moving on at the end you will be writing w is equals to az plus b by cz okay so this should be this side and this should be this side that's okay cz plus d so now i hope everyone is now clear with the topics up to now we are now clear with the bilinear transformation. In the next tutorial, we will be going through some basic residues of f of z, guys. That's really an important topic. Don't miss, guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching.